What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing of the latest and greatest 3D hotness. This is the Evo 3D for Sprint, the spiritual and literal successor to the first 4G smartphone ever released on the market, the Evo 4G. So let's go ahead, dig in, and see if it's worthy of that extra D. All right, so this guy is gonna be available on June 24th. You're gonna to wanna to check your local Sprint retailer or on-time retailer for pricing because that does always change. Here's the box, pretty minimal. I've got the white display with the Evo 3D printed right there. Nothing overly exciting. I've got all the press materials covered up there. That's where all the phone number information is. Go ahead and slide it out of the box. And here we've got the Evo 3D looking very normal Evo-like. Let's go ahead and push and push it out. And now it doesn't look very normal Evo like. There's a lot of stuff on here. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. Push it right off to the side. Let's see what else we are going to get in the box. We're going to have a getting started guide and the rest of that stuff no one's ever gonna read. Got your micro USB charging cable and we've got the wall adapter. No headphones, nothing else found in there. Those are the accessories. Push those off to the side, that's not the exciting part. Let's take a look at the Evo 3D and let's run through the specs. I'll let it do a boot up while we are talking about it. So there is a lot of stuff to talk about here. First is that 4.3 inch diagonal screen. That size hasn't changed. What's new now though is a 3D LCD display. Uh, it's got a resolution of 540 by 960. Here you can see it's running HTC's new Sense 3.0 interface. Uh, the thing feels very, very nice in the hand. Uh, a little bit on the large side, but we'll get to those in just a minute. Uh, it's got one gigabyte of RAM. Uh, of course, it's got 4G support, and that Sprint's WiMAX flavor. 802.11b, G, and N. Android 2.3, so you can get some tasted, tasted gingerbread going on. On the back is where a lot of the action happens. So first, you got two cameras. Uh, one of those cameras is your 5 megapixel camera shooter, uh, which is going to be augmented by dual LED flash and, of course, autofocus. Dual LEDs. Kind of looks like a robot face with the eyes and the nose. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Uh, it's going to be able to record video. Uh, we're hearing in 1080p, but there have been conflicting reports that perhaps it's only 720p. So I'll turn it on and we'll check that out. But the official specs do say 1080p. It can also shoot stereoscopic 3D movies and pictures, uh, which it's going to do at only two megapixel resolution. So something to keep in mind. And stereoscopic 3D is 3D without the glasses. Uh, it's the same thing that the Nintendo 3DS uses. If you guys ever used or had any of those baseball cards when you were a kid that as you moved it, you saw the bat swing. Uh, that's very similar to stereoscopic 3D. You have to be sitting right in the right spot at just the right angle, and then you can see all of the 3D action. All right, so let's go ahead and continue and run down the specs. All of this power is going to be coming from a 1,730 milliamp hour battery. You do have a front-facing camera as well. It lives right up there, so you can get your Skype on. Uh, from a dimension standpoint, it is 5 inches long, <laughs> uh, 2.6 inches on the width, and 0.47 inches on the thickness, and it weighs 6 ounces. And all of this is being powered by a 1.2 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon chip. So this guy has a lot of power in it. Uh, so we've seen HTC Sense 3.0. Uh, first time we've seen it is on the HTC Sensation. Sort of its stablemate, this guy available on T-Mobile. They're very similar in the spec department, although of course the Evo 3D does bring 3D to the mix. But in case you were cross shopping and want to see what they look like next to each other, there you go. It is a super phone, well, half sandwich, missing the meat in the middle. Um, so let's go ahead and see what we got on the device. You got your typical Android buttons encapsulated here in those circles like we've become familiar with on the original Evo 3D. So you got your home button, your menu button, your back, and your search. On the left hand side, your micro USB charging port is going to live up on the left. On the top, 3.5 millimeter headset jack, power and lock. And on the right, there's a lot of action happening here on the right. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. So we've got a giant camera shutter button right there. If you felt like you needed a dedicated camera shutter button and a big one at that, 
uh, this is going to be quite nice for you. You've got a 3D to 2D switch right there. I will say that just on holding this device while I've been testing it, that camera button is huge and it definitely hits your hand if you're going to hold it with your right. There's a bit of a ridge here, you can see it. Uh, it's not necessarily sharp, but you definitely feel it um, sort of glide as you're holding the phone, something to keep in mind. On the back, that's where all the 3D action is going to take place. The back here is kind of texturized and feels uh, very nice, almost like a rubbery feel, different than the soft touch we've seen before. Hopefully you guys will be able to see that uh, get picked up on the camera. It's got a really high quality feel to it, as uh, typical of HTC devices. And then you've got the front facing camera on the front. So this has been an unboxing and first look at the brand new, coming out soon, Evo 3D for Sprint. Is this the phone that you guys are looking at that you really want to see? I'm kind of curious. Um, let's go ahead and take one look at the camera and see how the 3D business happens. So looks like we are, we're in 2D mode so we can snap normal 2D pictures. See there's my hand. What if we slip this over to 3D? So let's see what happens. And now we are shooting in 3D supposedly. Let's go ahead and snap a quick image of my dirty desk. So it does the autofocus business and it snaps it. And I'm looking at it right now. You obviously can't see this, but perhaps you can see the image change. Uh, we've got some 3D stuff right there. So let me go ahead and open up the image. Go ahead and take a look. Oops. We'll go ahead and go to pictures, which should be located somewhere on here. You can see all the HTC Sense 3.0 goodness that you're going to get. It's sort of broken down. Someone's got to see pictures on here somewhere. I can see you guys probably yelling in the comments. It's right there. But I will find it because I can't read your comments in real time, unfortunately. Although I'll read them afterwards. Photos, 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 camera. I can probably get to it from there. But now I feel like I need to find the pictures. Gallery. There it is. All right, so let's see what 3D pictures look like in here. Certainly you're not going to be able to tell camera shots. So when you take them in 3D, you get a little 3D image right there. Um, we'll go ahead and jump into that one. Now you're not going to be able to see that this is in 3D. It's probably just going to look weird and blurry to you. But as I move this around, I can see the image changing. Uh, and it does look to be in 3D. Um, you're probably going to get the same similar eye strain you have with stereoscopic 3D, although I'll use this for a while and see if that's still true here. Um, and see if the 3D is more of a gimmick or an actual selling point. So unfortunately, you can't see the 3D, but I can. Uh, anyway, guys, what do you guys think of the Evo 3D? Is it your next smartphone? Are you going to pass? What do you guys think in general? I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you and talk to you and tell you bad jokes in the next video. Bye-bye.